Having body image concerns is a relatively common experience and is not a mental health issue or problem in and of itself. However, it can be a risk factor for many mental health problems. If you've suffered from anxiety, depression, shame, or self-consciousness due to your weight or appearance or feeling like somehow you just don't belong, pay attention. This video is absolutely for you. I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks on how to help cope with that and maybe help you understand that you are not alone. Join me now, watch. Oh, light's not working. Look at the difference. Right. It's a little light. Whoa! So, I oh, can't see excessive sweating. Um. <laughs> So if you watch, obviously, like, depending on how long you've followed me, and I can say that in mm, the strategic way over the number and number of years that my stuff's all over the place. I didn't ever use my accounts the traditional way. And that's because I realized I'm not traditional. I've always gone against the grain, but I didn't realize that in a sense. So I never felt talented or good enough in any area. I've always felt like a misfit in a crowded room, right? I'm, uh, you know, not feeling good, but this obligation in that sense to, you know, serve others, please others. And that's where the motivational part comes from in my past. So you see the videos are all over the place, what I look like, um, how I am, because this is, I want people to start thinking is the educational piece here. Right. These are the things I'm insecure about. That's why I'm putting it out there. So the video is when I'm dancing around in my lingerie. Those are the things I'm insecure about. Those videos, that's why they're not released in the same time frame as when I did them because that's actually the ha huh, unconventional therapy component. So I am not a doctor nor am I claiming to be a doctor. Educating the educated really after mistreatment um, that's my personal story and the misconceptions also I don't even really want to identify and I, I hate the term because it's I say I am but I hate the term of, of coach because that has been so abused and misused especially in the last number of years with these things online and you know, people miss, I, I don't know, very misguided and different things. So I, I guess a motivator would be the right thing, but unconventionally. And the healing process in this, as I've been ill, that's the truth. And trying to recover what that would look like to an audience versus what it is. And that's kind of the whole point, is your perception is your own and your own reality. And the, the, the process of that, for someone to understand is challenging because it's your own beliefs. However, so I say this, can you, if you were to do everything and anything you want, could you just do that? The answer really is no. People don't know what chains they have on them until they try to move. What type of consequences are you gonna get if you did X, Y, Z? And this relates to the education of ourselves, of our insecurities. Yes, that's one thing, but who's close to you, what they would do? Okay, even basic things like a platform. There's rules on each platform, what you can do, there's community, when, where, and why, right? Where did that come from? And there's a lot of debates on that. I'm not gonna get into it, but it's. It, I want you to understand that. So the misconception, right? My healing and being behind a video gave me confidence, but it's the embarrassment to take my body back. So as a former professional, professional, spokesperson, fitness model, bikini model, all those things. Well, in some air, that's one character. And that's something I myself did not understand. The truth of my story, the truth is I had no memory before February of 2020. I remembered things. But my tra trauma comes back in a reaction in the body, not a memory. 
And I had to slow down and understand that in the brain. And the blessing of the mistreatment that I faced is me finally understanding that because I've lived my whole life with the voices of people in my head telling me I'm not worthy. I'm not good enough. I don't deserve a voice. That is not what it would look like to some people in perception if they only saw one version of me, if you only saw the fitness version or the girl dancing around in lingerie that was for herself filmed. Then she got some courage to release in different places strategically, to heal, to educate, to learn to take her body back because it was taken from her. So the things I'm insecure about is why I don't get, you know, it's that close, right? What, what am I trying to release, right? Because we have to understand, and I had to understand this, it comes back to ultimate responsibility. The trauma, no, it's not your fault. The healing is your responsibility. And if you're continuously attracting, right, the, the same things, people say, oh, right, all men are cheaters, all women are cheaters. No, why are you attracting that? There's something that's unhealed in yourself and that's what you believe you deserve. That's an ultimate responsibility. Where that comes from, well, that is deep-rooted. And a lot of people don't want to face that. In all honesty, I didn't either. I was forced to because... <sighs> The, the trauma so much, a reaction, and that's what it's, it's like my brain and my body, that disconnect. But I realized with getting my memory back, it was coming into my body. I lived my whole life in like a disassociative type personality. So give, 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 spread out onto the next. So when people tell me, you know, be positive, get to the next thing, life is too short, etc. That's how I lived my entire life. I was the good girl. I helped. I supported, I empowered, I gave till I bled, and it killed me. I do not know how to give to myself. I'm learning that. That is not what some people would perceive. Other people who have dealt with this or understand or whatever would, watch and would see my illness. That is what I've been hiding for so long. I People don't fake being ill really like or depression they fake being well and i'm the best at it one of the best I, mean, I, I i had to see that and that's what i'm trying to get people to understand why because i care i can't be around people because i lose myself because i care too much And that puts me always on a lesser, right? So I submit, I've never been a person in my life, and that's another, for very competitive people, they would think otherwise because that's their brain. That's not my brain. I'll submit, I'll submit every time to see somebody blossom and grow, and I just want to be appreciated for that, for helping empower them. But that can kill somebody if you don't have proper boundaries. And that is a very common thing for a lot of people. And I had to learn the dangers of not being able to understand that or set those boundaries. So when I, you know, release things and strategically and, you know, I'm made fun of for mental health issues, criticized for putting videos out, um, with a purpose of education and intention for activism on women's rights and I'm called names. I had to understand those their core beliefs I believed in myself because they wouldn't have upset me otherwise. And that's exactly why I did it. And I'm still healing. I've been on this journey now. It's been a sol solid number of years. Um, and I, because Find something you love and let it kill you. My purpose is that. And in all honesty, in talks of mental health issues, I wouldn't be here if I didn't find that purpose and call that in my entire life um, my faith in God. 
and that's not something I generally like to openly discuss but it's true and it's hard because the anger that you'd have toward God well then it doesn't make sense right why would God create so much pain and suffering and abuse the one thing all of us humans share is pain so I will never identify I, I am the victim. I had to understand that. But I will not identify as a victim. And I had to understand that too. That's my that's why I'm so good at these illusions. Is because I'm a warrior. And I had to see what I went through finally. Because the constant comparison to others who had it worse, ironically, is what why I never spoke. Because who am I to complain? Never complain about what you permit. Either change it or be quiet. But understanding it for yourself to give yourself some empathy but not staying in it is different can you relate have you ever struggled with severe mental health issues and maybe felt misunderstood if so welcome i'm going to share this journey um and i'd love for you to be a part of it i am doing this to connect to the people who have felt that they have never been connected it's not true we are connected.